Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Panorama. I normally do my introductions over the opening screen, but I like the music better <laughs> in the actual game. So we're doing the introduction in here. Um, if you're new to the channel, then you may not know that we played Panorama quite a while ago, and it kind of feels like coming home. And so, so here we are. Although a lot of you probably came from my Panorama videos to begin with. Oh gosh, look. <laughs> If there's just a loud noise, it is because Kale very suddenly just jumped up on my lap, full claws into my thigh. Hi. Hi, how are you? Oh, do you regret your decisions? Oh, okay. Off you go then. <laughs> oh gosh, Kale is so needy of attention, but she hates to be held at all. So that was very alarming that she just jumped on my lap, um, and then she very immediately hated it. Anyways, let's let's go ahead and... <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Thank you, um, all of you who are regulars. I was rotating this like we're playing Dorf Romantic, but I don't need to do that. Um, yeah, thank you to everybody who is a regular viewer um, for your patience uh, over the past, it's been like 10 days now. Um, I really appreciate it. I needed a little bit of time to just collect myself. Um, if you didn't see my community post, I had, um, I had a panic attack last Thursday. Um, fairly minor, honestly. Um, but I've never had, uh, I've not had very many panic attacks in my life. Um, so when they do happen, they kind of, they kind of throw me off a little bit. Um, so it, it really really threw me off and I just needed some time to uh, to collect myself and to um, unwind a little bit and just to get get back to feeling normal um, which I am feeling much much better um, mentally and emotionally now uh, but I will tell you and I don't know if you can hear it in my voice you may be able to um, I have an incredibly sore throat right now <laughs> um, which is really unfortunate um, but I have a very, very sore throat. Um, I'm hoping that it's just... I've had fall allergies recently. Um, and so I'm hoping that it's just like... This is disgusting. I'm so sorry. Skip ahead if you don't... <laughs> you don't want to hear about my sinuses. Um, but I'm hoping it's just like sinus dripping, causing my throat to be sore. And not that I'm getting sick. Um, but I'm not terribly optimistic that that's the case. Um, that said, I tend to... And please let me know if you are the same way. Because um, it will make me feel better about myself. Um, I tend to think I'm getting sick pretty often, and I'm very rarely actually getting sick. So let's let's hope, and let's hope that my voice doesn't sound too bad. Um, I don't have uh, if you've recorded audio before, um, I can listen to my own voice back in my headphones, but it it really messes me up and feels weird. So um, yeah, so I'm not doing that. I'm going to. Turn the music up just one second. Okay. That's better. That feels more more appropriate volume level for the music. I had it down really low, um, at least through the introduction there. But now it's back. That's worth so much because it finishes that. So I should probably put it here. Um, I'm playing this in um, challenge mode, which is in beta currently. Um, and apparently, uh, as you win games, you can unlock um, different perks and things like that. Um, so that would be fun to to give it a try um, and see how it goes. Double points from future houses. All right, so I'm trying to remember things that people told me. And I think one of them was these ones that double future points we can put like pretty far away. So we should like put it out here, um, because then all of our future houses will will um, net us bonus points. Oh crap! But that means that we can't put a piece in there yet. That makes me very sad. But yeah, how are you? Again, thank you. I really, really appreciate um, everyone's patience. In fact, we added a couple of subscribers when I was away there. So welcome, welcome if you're new. Um, I appreciate you being here. I'm really happy to have you. Um, I try not to take breaks like that terribly often, but that one was 
was really necessary. Um, just, yeah, I really, really needed to have a little bit of, um, a little bit of a reprieve. It's one of those things where it feels like there's been, um, a lot of pressure recently. Um, and a lot of that pressure is pr pressure. Um, and I've forgotten how to, how to record videos in the time that I was gone. Um, a lot of that pressure is... Uh, very likely self-inflicted, if that makes sense. Um, like, I don't really need to feel that pressured about, um, about some things, but, um, but I have been, uh, with, like, work and the cats. If you've been following that saga, they, um, we found that they have ringworm, which is, like, easily treatable, but annoying to deal with, if that makes sense. Um, like, it's not a life-threatening concern or anything like that. Um, and it goes away after a while, but it's like two, been two, no, we're on three, three weeks. We're going to like four weeks worth of, um, twice weekly baths and, um, uh, ointment every morning and all of that, which is annoying. Uh, and like, just adds time that like neither Chris or I really had <laughs> to like, uh, be dedicated to doing, um, like bath time and stuff, which the kittens, of course, hate because they are kittens. Um, so they do not make it easy on us when we do bath time. Um, so there's that. And then we found out not long after that they have Giardia, um, which again, um, infinitely treatable, super like easy to deal with. We're already finished with the treatments, in fact, because it was just um, wet food mixed with what honest to God looked like little baggies of cocaine um, for like five meals. So we're already through that, um, but then we have to wait a couple of weeks and then go retest. And uh, and then my full-time job uh, has been a lot recently, and there's been stuff with like family, and you know, you know how it goes. Um, I am probably preaching to the choir here. Um, instantly upgrades ten. I don't want to do that yet. Double points from future trees, or instantly place ten trees in a small area. Um, I wouldn't mind expanding our forest. Does this fit in here? No, but it does fit here. Oh, but again, we should probably place it out a little bit so that it has more space. I'm trying to remember, it's been, oh, sorry, I'm like also throwing the camera everywhere. It's been a little while since we played, but I'm trying to remember all of the, all of the tips that everyone had for me. Oh, we've only got four tiles left. Well, this run is over. <laughs> well, this run is absolutely over. Um, it was quick. It was very, very quick. We're not going to end the video here. Um, oh, can I, can I save this? Can I salvage this? Is there a way to like, I'm going to tuck you in there, but. Oh. <laughs> the run is not over. It's not dead. And you thought it was dead. Shame. Or shame. Um, but yeah, I needed some time to deal with pressures, um, whether real or imagined. Um, it also doesn't really matter. Um, that's gonna be my message for you. Um, it doesn't really matter if if you feel like you are just making it up. Um, I feel like I tell myself that all the time as a like. I wouldn't call it a coping strategy, but just like denying that there that I have any reason to actually feel um, like down about things or feel pressured or anything like that. Um, there's just yeah, there's no there's no reason to like to doubt myself. Um, you feel how you feel, so if you ever are feeling down, feeling stressed, feeling tired, anxious, um, any of that, it's okay. Let yourself feel those things. Um, and that was what I, that was what I took time to do, was to just let myself feel some things, um, and feel like I could get past it. And now, now I feel like I have. Um, and now I might be sick. So, so it's going great. It's just going so great. Um, but genuinely, it's, it's, it's going good. And I hope that it's going good for you too. Um, I wanted to come back to Panorama today because I missed it and I really felt like playing it. And because I'm not feeling terribly well, um, 
I just kind of wanted to do something that was like familiar and cozy, um, which I I would argue that Terranil is also familiar and cozy. Um, but there's something about coming back to this game that felt right for today. So that's what we're doing. Ah, oh, we got 61 tiles now. I was worried for nothing. Just worried for nothing. Um, also, I apologize if you at any point hear me taking a sip, but I have some <laughs> herbal tea with me because of my throat, which I'm going to take a sip right now. Block your ears if you don't like it. It probably made a weird noise because it made a little like, <laughs> like a little fart noise. Of course it did. Um, I don't know what, uh, I don't remember what the herb, what like the main herb is, but if you're curious, it is um, Celestial Seasonings. Uh, tension tamer tea. Um, I love it. It's such a like, it's such a unique taste. Like it's not quite, it's not minty, but it's sort of in that same family, if that makes sense. If you've ever had this tea, um, let me know what you, what you think about the taste. Also, if you are a tea fan in general, um, let me know. I have, I have recently reached my, what I assume is my final form when it comes to being a bit of a tea snob, in that I bought myself this really nice, um, and it was super cheap too, um, but this really nice, um, like mesh tea basket. Um, it's not one of the ones like, uh, that you, that are like a spoon, if that makes sense, that you like put tea in and you like clamp up or like a tea ball. It's like a little, it's a little basket that has handles. Um, and you like set it down into your glass, uh, or your mug, I guess not glass, but mug, same thing. Um, but you set it down in and then like fill it with some tea and then pour the water over top of it. Um, and then whenever it's done brewing, you just like lift the basket out and throw out the, um, the tea leaves. Uh, and it's amazing. And I got myself some, some different loose leaf teas, um, some Earl Grey, uh, some loose chamomile. Which is so weird, by the way, because it's whole, like whole flowers. You just put like whole tiny little dead flowers in your cup. Um, Earl Grey, chamomile, and mint. Uh, a nice mint tea, which is probably one of my favorites um, in terms of herbal teas. Earl Grey is my favorite tea in general. Like my favorite overall tea is definitely Earl Grey. I, I love it. I'm going to make a nice little island here, and it makes me very happy. All right. Building time. What did we get? We could probably go for this now and upgrade. So we've got quite a few houses down. Um, if the audio was going funny, I was talking like into my mug just then. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. So we've got quite a few houses over here. Oh, and in fact, we can slot it right there so beautifully oh and then we can immediately finish it and that will upgrade a bunch of houses for us nice 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 i did miss this game i really did miss this game I think that's the better way for that to go and i'm glad to come back to it have any of you been playing um panorama or anything like it, or just what have you been playing in general? I feel like every time I did these videos, I would talk about things that I was playing. Um, and I think I was playing the last time we were doing these. I just want to do this, just put a little meadow here to finish this off. Houses are worth more points there because of the clock tower. So maybe not. I'll put it there. Um, I think last time I did a Terra Nil, not Terra Nil, <laughs> Panorama video. <clears throat> there goes my voice. Um, I was playing. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, which I never finished, um, because I was in the midst of playing it um, when something else came out. And now I don't remember. Or maybe I just focused on the channel really hard for a little while, because I wanted to say that it was Baldur's Gate, but I don't think it was. I mean, Baldur's Gate has been out for a while now, but um, not that long, right? Or am I, am I going insane? Have I lost, um, have I lost all track of time? Uh, maybe it was. Maybe it was Baldur's Gate. I don't know, but that's what I'm playing now, if you're curious. Um, I had considered doing it on the channel, and I think I've talked about this in different videos. 
Um, so if you've been around for a while, you've probably heard me say this before, but um, I was considering playing it on the channel, but then decided that I wanted to just play it for myself as my, like, my chill, relaxing um, evening game that's, like, just for me. Um, but now there's sort of part of me that wishes that I had played it on the channel, um, because I think it would be fun to share it with all of you. Um, and it's been delightful. Um, what a masterpiece of a game. And if you follow, like, video game reviews and things like that, you have probably seen and heard that exact sentiment many, many times. Um, but really, but just, wow. It is phenomenal. Um, I love it. I did such a good job. Um, I'm an old man, so I played the, um, the original Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 way back in the day. Um, in like the mid, wait, no, it didn't come out until, I think it was 2003. I might be wrong about that. Maybe that was the second one. Um, maybe it was like 1998, something like that. So I played it then, um, when I was definitely too young to be playing games like that. Um, but I had an uncle who was really into video games. I can't figure out where to place that, so we're going to do this first. Oh, instantly place 20 trees. Actually, let's upgrade some of our trees. Um, I had an uncle who was really into video games, and so he introduced them to me um, at a very young age. Probably much to my parents' displeasure. Um, but, I mean, hey, if this whole YouTube thing, like, works out, um, maybe they'll be really glad that he introduced me to video games at su such a young age and that I fell in love with them. Because I really do love them. Um, next week, and I have genuinely taken time off from my full-time job in order to do this. Um, I hate it when you're rotating these things. It, it zooms the camera too. Unless I'm doing something wrong. If I am, let me know. Um... I took time off next week, Monday and Tuesday. Technically speaking, I only needed to take Tuesday, but I decided to also take Monday um, so that I can be home, so that I can record some Station to Station. I had to think about what the title was while I was trying to do that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to record Station to Station on Tuesday. Um, and get a video out. There might be, like, several videos back-to-back -back next week. Um, depending on how much time I have and all of that. Um, or I'm just gonna just play, play through Station to Station. Um, if you want, you can go back in my videos and find the Station to Station demo that we did a while ago when I was doing a bunch of demos. Um, during whatever period of time that was. Was that Next Fest? I think it might have been Next Fest. Um, it's a really, really delightful puzzle game. Um, and it's voxel art, which I know nothing about. Um, I've never in my life heard of voxel art. Um, it, I, I just was referring to it as pixel art. But I learned recently that it's voxel art. Are any of you familiar? Do any of you know of voxel art? Um, is it similar to pixels, but like larger? Is it like blocks? Like is um is uh, Minecraft a voxel and not pixel? These are the these are the questions. These are the deep thoughts that you come to this channel to enjoy. Oh, wait. Um, I want to click on animals. Okay, maybe I need to put this down first, and then we can go click on some animals. Because I just saw a couple, and then remembered that this game wants you to click on animals. Okay, we're going to make a little town out here by the, by the skyport. Which will be cute. Um, oh, animals. Click. Click on frogs, click on birds. Oh, that pushed me over? <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to that. I just wanted to go click on animals, but um, it pushed me over to the next mission tile, quest tile, the mission quest tile, what 
whatever it is. You know what I'm talking about. Alright, I don't know if I see any more. Well, that's good for now. It was kind of fun, though, that it pushed me over the edge. Um, double points from future stone areas. Instantly upgrade 10 stone areas. Let's do the hillside mine. Oh, or the windmill. Do the windmill. We can expand out our farmland a little bit. Um, I'm sorry, I'm probably making you dizzy. Um, did it, was it this way that it went? Yeah. Oh, but it's an instantly place land kind of thing. So I should probably try to... Do I want to go this far out with it? That feels, that feels like it's not what I want to do. But I don't know what it is that I do want to do. That's reasonable, right? Because that's a pretty big amount of space that we can have around it. And it's only 10, right? So I think that's fine. I'm going to complete my little houses there. I'm making an aesthetic choice. Because every once in a while you just gotta. You just gotta make an aesthetic choice. Yep, next week. Um, we'll check out Station to Station. I'm very, very, very excited about it. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I don't mind putting this over here. Because then the stones can connect in. But maybe it's best to put it here, actually. The stones just feel kind of out of place. But that's okay. I suppose. Oh, I needed a house there. Sorry, I'm making you cringe. If you haven't been on the channel since the original Panorama videos back in the day. I say about videos that came out like, what, two months ago? Um, if you weren't around for those... Um, welcome to probably your personal nightmare, where I ignore things and place tiles wrong and forget that there is an undo button. It will hurt you, but know that I don't mean it to. I don't mean to hurt you. I just will. It's, but it's an accident. Or born of love. That's what it is. That's what we'll say. It's, it's born of love. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds, uh, that sounds creepy and weird. Ignore everything I just said. Just ignore it. Um, if I had more energy and drive today, I would cut that out of the recording. But instead, when I'm done playing, I'm going to do very minor things and then put this out there for you all to enjoy. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoy it. Nice. Remember that time we were so close to this being a dead run? I remember that time. I remember it like it was very recent. I'm also surprised by how good the cats are now being. Other than Kale, like, jumping into my lap very suddenly at the beginning, they are both now completely sprawled out and comfy. Um, Kale is at my feet. She is, um, she's so funny, uh, and what I think is, is kind of wonderful about, about both of the cats is wrong placement? What? Is the game now also yelling at me for wrong placements? Um, what I think is wonderful about, and I think this is true of cats in general, but certainly our cats, since we have two, um, has been getting to see their personalities develop differently, but also how differently they show affection like kale's affection is being near you she likes to be pet when she wants to be pet she does not want to be held she does not really want to sit in your lap or snuggle with you um but if you like get down and lay on the floor she shows her affection by like coming and just like sitting beside you and just like loafing right beside you um or coming and sitting in front of your face and just kind of staring at you um she just wants to be close um but it's how you know that she that she cares and that she loves you um and it's very very sweet um and it makes me really happy when she does things like that because she's such a cute kitty um and then parsnip um shoves his love square into your face you have no choice 
you will acknowledge him and you will acknowledge his love. Um, and that's just, you don't have a choice. You have to do it. Okay, we're putting that as far out as we can because it doubles points from future water. It's going to be annoying to build out to it. Um, but we will we'll figure it out. Um, if you have cats, please tell me all about them. Um, this is also a reason why we need a community discord, which we will absolutely do when we hit 500 subscribers. Um, that's my, that's my goal. That's my plan. So if you aren't subscribed and I apologize if I've said this already, I do not remember. I am, I am ill. <laughs> I'm ill. Forgive me. Um, but if you're not subscribed, <laughs> consider subscribing to the channel. We are 11 subscribers away from 500, which is insane. Um, completely and absolutely bananas. I am amazed. Could I have... Give me remembering the undo, undo button. Could I have put... Oh, I don't want... Did I undo twice? I think I did. I did not mean to undo twice. Oh, I can't put that there. Oh, it's only worth one point when I do that, though. It's okay. We're gonna we're gonna experiment with that. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> Consider subscribing. There we go. I'm so good at like just smooth um, plugs for my channel. If you subscribe, you can look forward to more smooth plugs from my channel. Um, also remember to do the uh, notifications. Wow, I'm <laughs> I'm ill. Leave me alone. Um, yeah, do the notifications <laughs> so that you can know whenever I post any new videos. Um, also, go click the like button if you're still here. If you've been here for, what are we on, like 25 minutes? If you've been here for this long, give me a, give me a like. And leave me a comment down below. Tell me about your cats. Um, and specifically how your cats show affection. And if you've got, like we do, where you've got one that's very, um very very forceful with affection and one that's more aloof um and i can't really decide which one i like better um not which cat i like better <laughs> um but which um which like mode of affection i like more because don't get me wrong i love snuggling parsnip i do um he's a very sweet boy um, but sometimes it's a little too much and it's like, okay, buddy, okay, it's, it's going to be all right. Maybe, maybe give me just a little bit of breathing room. Um, but it's so sweet when he like purrs and just snuggles in with you. Um, and with Kale, I think that like, it just melts my heart. It just fully melts my heart whenever she like comes over from wherever she was and just like lays down where she's close to you. Um just because she wants to be close. She just wants to be nearby. Um, and it, it melts my heart. It's so sweet. And I love it. So I don't know which, um, I don't know which affection mode I prefer. Maybe just a little bit of both. Maybe the, like, maybe the key is having both. Um, you could go out here. That wouldn't be so bad. I want to build water out that way because it's worth lots of points. I do. You were with eight points over there, so maybe that's where you should go. Yeah. Um, the other game that I've been thinking about a lot recently, in terms of like games that we've done here on the channel, is Pile Up. That one was also fun. Um, it was not relaxing. Not at all relaxing. It was really... <laughs> That's another one you should go back and watch if you haven't. Um, not relaxing in the slightest. Um, very stressful, but still very fun. Um, and I wouldn't mind... Does this double points from... No, I placed. Um, we should go back and watch it. I want to play it again, but it's still in early access, and so I'm kind of waiting for it to either have a major update or um 
or like be released into 1.0. And I don't know when it releases. I actually don't think I've... I don't think I've seen a release date for it. So it might be one of those ones. There's a lot like this where I'm like, that looks amazing. I want to play it. When does it come out? And it's like sometime 2023, sometime 2024. Um, which I get that like uh, a lot of developers don't want to put like hard deadlines on things necessarily until they're really sure that that's when it's going to happen. Because like we know what happens when they do put hard deadlines and then they have to delay or... They put a hard deadline and then the game just isn't finished by that deadline. Um, like, I, Cyberpunk is a great example of that, where, like, they delayed so many times and kept, like, pushing back, and then I think they finally got to the point where they were like, we can't delay anymore. Um, then the game was a, an unfinished buggy mess. And it really, really messed people up. Although I hear, I hear Phantom Liberty is very good, um, and that 2.0 is, is quite nice. Um, Forester's Lodge, Hillside Quarry, do we want to finish up some of these, like, um, one-star buildings? This one is going to place ten, so I want to put it somewhere where it's got a lot of reach. That's pretty good, I think. We'll do that. Let me know if you've played, um... Phantom Liberty, um, especially if you played Cyberpunk before um, and now afterwards. It's a, I think it's the game that I'm going to like have as my my personal gaming time game um, once I'm done with Baldur's Gate. Also, would any of you like to see things like that on the channel? Um, we've mostly done cozy games uh, and in terms of like viewership and that sort of thing. Um, games like Panorama do best on the channel. Um, but let me know if you would be interested, because I love, I love RPGs. I love a big, like, dense RPG that I can sink my teeth into. Um, so let me know if you would be interested in seeing something like that on the channel. So maybe we'll make it happen. Um, since I'm thinking about playing Cyberpunk, maybe I can, I can do a little, a little bit of Cyberpunk. It doesn't 100% feel like the right game for the channel, <laughs> just as I'm thinking about it. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. So let me let me know. Because um, I have mentioned this a million times. Whoa, 10 points? Okay, I'll take it. Um, I've mentioned it a million times before, but oh, we have 69, nice. Um, I like the idea of building this channel together. Um, because obviously I want to enjoy the things that I'm playing, um, but I want you to have input. I want you to be able to let me know your opinions and your thoughts and your takes on things. Um, because I think that makes it, like, more fun for all of us. If we can all, all participate together. Which is one of the things that I'm looking forward to with, um, with creating a, uh, community discord is being able to like communicate a little bit more with some of you uh, because it's super fun to like hear comments from you especially those of you who've been around for a while and who comment regularly um it's always fun um because it feels like I'm, I'm starting to get to know some of you a little bit and the things that you like and a little bit about your life which is always fun because i really like getting to know people um in general i just think it's really it's one of the things about life that's just so fun is getting to know people um so I think that having a community discord where we can have more in-depth discussions and get to know each other a little bit more sounds like a lot of fun. Especially while I'm still, <laughs> while I'm still a small YouTuber, that sounds like I'm expecting myself to like become a big YouTuber. I, I want to be clear that I don't think I will ever be a big YouTuber, um, but I do have hope that, that the channel will keep growing. Um, it's done really well, which I'm really, really proud of. Um, but I think I should take advantage of having a small community right now to sort of build some bonds together. Um, some of my, like, original, original people on the channel. Do you ever, like, say things and then you're like, does that sound... is that... my... <laughs> 
What was I what was I actually saying there? Was I saying anything? Are people gonna think that I'm self-absorbed? Because I do. I think that. I think that. <laughs> I think that all the time. Um, you can go there. That sounds good for you. I think that all the time. It is a classic staple. I actually kinda love the idea of building a little bit of a meadow out that way. Um, a classic staple of a person with an anxiety disorder and depression. Oh, I wanted to build a meadow out here, so I'm gonna keep doing that, because that's fun. It's fun to build that meadow out there. Nice, that's worth so many points there. coming along. I'm honestly, I'm really happy. I'm, I'm still a little bit shaken by, oh nice. Still a little bit shaken by um, our very, very, very near death that we were very fortunately saved from. Uh, doubles points from future mountains. Uh, doubles points from future trees. Or instantly upgrade. Oh, we could definitely do this. Do the hillside cottage. And upgrade a bunch of stone areas. Um, uh, maybe not. Because it doesn't really want to fit in there. Um, well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. I will simply have to tell you what. Um, nowhere feels good for this. I guess this is our best option. Does that cut that off from... Does. Yeah, that would cut that off from having access to two more. That wouldn't, though. Okay. Okay. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. Oh, I just heard Kale. She's under my desk at my feet, and she just did a little, little purr, a little, little noise. Do you want attention? Oh, she's like rolling over and showing me her belly. <laughs> a little kale. Oh, I love these kitties. Um, I had, I had cats as a kid. Um, two at like separate times. Um, one, and then, uh, we briefly brought in, um, I still to this day don't know if he was a feral male who, uh, like got killed or something, um, or if he was, oh, that counts for that, that's beautiful, um, or if he was a, um, cat that was, like, somebody's, somebody's cat who we just, like, happened to take in for a little while, um, whose name was Tucker, um, but then he, he just sort of went away one day. Um, he like got out of the house and, and ran off and that was, that was the end of Tucker. Um, sorry, that's, <laughs> I can't, I can't trigger warning at this point, but, uh, but hopefully that didn't, didn't impact anybody too much. Um, but yes, we had Tucker and we had Mercy was her name. Um, the cat that we had for a long time when I was a kid. Um, I think she made it to like, I guess she wasn't that old as far as cats go. Um, like 15-ish, maybe? Which is a, an okay age for cats, I think. Um, but I haven't had cats as an adult ever. <laughs> you might be able to hear Kale, she's just like begging for attention right now. Just staring at me. Okay, okay, I'll give you pets. I'll give you pets. This is where it would pay to have a, web, a webcam on. Because then people could see me giving you little pets. Yeah, they could see you and not just hear me talking to you. Um, Kale also can't meow. <laughs> so if you hear her in the background, it's sort of just little squeaks. Um, it's just little squeaks and or um, a sound. <laughs> I try to replicate it. Is this going to be embarrassing for me? Um, that's like, akak. <laughs> akak. Um, which anytime she does, we, Chris and I immediately have to respond to her. Akak. 
Um, because it's so funny to us that she can't meow. Um, except for that. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Ow! No, my leg. My leg. Kale. <laughs> oh, goodness. You're so needy right now. What's your problem? Huh? What's wrong? What's wrong, my sweet little kitty? Oh, she's so cute. I should post an updated picture on the community tab because um, the one that I have on there is pretty old. Or um, another very, very smooth plug. Um, you can go follow me on Instagram. I have it linked down in the description for every one of my videos. Um, it's Brock.Switzer on Instagram. So you can follow me there because I post cat pictures sometimes. <laughs> She's just ramming her head into my hand right now. Meanwhile, Parsnip is... Oh, he's up on his cat tree, just staring at me. Hi, buddy. Hi. I really should get a... I should get a cat cam, if nothing else. You don't necessarily want to see my face, but could I interest you in some cats? Um, I have been thinking for a long time about uh, whether or not I should get a face cam. Um, I'm moderately torn on the, uh, on the subject. Part of me thinks it could be, it could be kind of cool have a face cam. Um, part of me thinks I, I don't at all want to do that. Because <laughs> then I have to pay attention to my audio and my video and my face cam. Um, and I feel like most of the time I'm just kind of like making a confused face staring at my staring at my computer screen. So would it be that would it be that interesting to watch me do that? Probably not. Probably not for you. But let me know. As always open to open to what you you would you would like to you would like to see and again something that can you hear her <laughs> i don't know if she's coming through or not come here you want to come up on my lap you're gonna run away like in a minute but do you want to sit here on my lap do you is this what you want hi whatever you can hear her purring Probably not. I'm just like hold her up to the microphone and see if you can hear because she's actually purring and just sitting in my lap right now and purring a little bit. And I feel a little bit like Dr. Evil just petting my cat in my swiveling chair. <laughs> my little girl. You're a good little girl. You can stay here with me for a little while. I'm surprised you haven't tried to fight me to get down. Oh, there you go. Are you trying to get to my tea? No. No. I think she might have just been pulling me to try to get to my tea, which is still warm, so no. I mean, also because no, I, I want to drink it, and I don't want you to drink it, but but no. No, no. My throat is actually feeling kind of okay at the moment, so maybe, maybe this talking has been good just to warm it up a little bit. Um, but I do think we're going to call this video pretty soon here. Um... So we're about to get to the next level, so I feel the next level, the next whatever it is, um, the next Point Break. Um, we're about to watch the movie Point Break. Uh, that feels like it's an old. That's an old joke. If you get that joke, you're you're at least my age. <laughs> um, oh, at work today, uh, we had a presentation in which um, somebody, um, one of our. Uh, I was gonna say I, that's fine. They don't watch. One of our older employees <laughs> uh, did a presentation, and he used Hollywood Squares as a like uh, a reference in his presentation. Don't ask. Long story. Um, but he used Hollywood Squares, and there were so many people on our staff who were like, "What? What is that?" Um, which, to be fair, I'm too young for like the original Hollywood Squares, but I do remember the like the reboot. Do we want to place crops? Do we place trees? Uh, let's place some trees. I feel like expanding our forest. These tags really get in the way. This is a pretty good spot for it, though, I think. Yeah, so we'll put it there. Okay. I think that's I think that's good. That's a good place to call it. It's a little bit of a shorter video. 
Um, but my throat... Oh, we can finish that real quick. We're gonna finish that real quick. My throat is, is still hurting. It's feeling a little bit less painful. Um, but it still hurts enough that I think it's time for me to stop talking for a little while. Um, and head off. So, that's what I'm going to do. But look at this. Look at our little our little area. It's amazing how different it is um, than our first our first uh, playthrough of this. So that's really cool. Um, I'm excited to come back to this and continue on the challenge mode. Um, I don't know when the next part of this will be because again, um, next week I'm going to be doing probably a lot with Station to Station because I'm really, really excited about it. Um, and this weekend on Saturday, I think we'll probably come back to Terra Nil because we're on the last biome. Um, and then I'm going to try to start to do some of the, like, unlocked things, because I've, I've been told that I will unlock different modes and things like that. So that will be the, the general plan. So I don't know when we'll come back to this, but, um, but soon, anytime I need a little, a little chill out, because I'm, I missed playing Panorama and just being able to talk to all of you. I actually feel like what this game is best for is to serve as, like, my, like, video diary. <laughs> It's a chance for me to be able to do something that I can do without like having to put my full focus into like the actual game. Um, so I can just talk and, and update you and tell you about cats and mental health and <laughs> the two things I can promise you that you will get on my channel are cats and mental health talk. So if you like those things, then you are in the right place and Kayla is, is back to just like rubbing against my hand aggressively. <laughs> Hi little girl, I love you. All right. That's going to be it for me today. I hope that you have a wonderful evening, a wonderful rest of your week. Tomorrow is Friday. We're almost there. It's almost the weekend. I've got a long weekend I'm really looking forward to. Um, I need the time. Oh, we're going to Bush Gardens Hello Scream on Saturday. I'm not super looking forward to it, but I'm going to I'm gonna give it an, an honest try. I'm going to try to enjoy myself, <laughs> but it's not my typical Halloween vibe. Um, and then before you know it, it will be oh, on Sunday. It'll be October. Um, so there might be some things coming out in October too. I, I posted a poll about reading a book um, and doing some spooky games. Um, so we'll see how, how that goes. Um, again, with like things feeling like there's as much pressure as there has been recently, things might be a little bit shifted, a little bit slow. Sometimes on the channel, there might be weeks where I only get like one video out for a little while. Um, so I'm sorry if that, uh, if that uh, is disappointing. But, um, but yeah, but I'll still be here and I'm going to keep doing this because I really, really do love it. Um, and I've loved getting to meet and uh, start to talk to so many of you. And I'm looking forward to launching that community discord and getting to know you more. Um, maybe doing some live streaming eventually. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So, all right. I hope you have a wonderful evening and I will see you again here on the channel really, really soon. Until then, take care of yourselves. Bye, everyone.